You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Can we talk about King Charles's coronation? This would be great if you could play this in the background, couldn't you? What's this? This is Coronation Street. Never watched that. I've never yeah. seen no, it. No, you never watched your grandmother watch Coronation Street? No. It's what my it? memories. Was it like The Bill? Yes. No, well, it's an English show. It's a bit more like EastEnders, isn't it? No, well, it's like, like, it's it, like a home and away. It's, it's right. the English Neighbours, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. In that vein. I'll go back and start. So, anyway, they've called it May 6, 2023. Now, it falls on a Sunday. Everyone here in Australia is asking, do we get a public holiday on the Monday? New Zealand have already come out. Jacinda Ardern has gone, guys, you can celebrate the coronation, that's fine, but you're not having a public holiday. She's a bit of a no fun, isn't she, when she says that? I mean, to me, it feels disrespectful (laughs) to turn up to work on the Monday. Well, but see, knowing there should be a special day of acknowledgement, not on our day of rest, mm. where I'm trying to gather myself from the previous six days. We need the Monday off just to be able to once again pay tribute to the Queen, but celebrate the new king. But it will be our Monday when it actually airs. Oh, won't it? So if we sorry. wanted to stay home, if it's a no. Sunday over there, I thought you meant it was our Sunday. Or is it a Saturday? No, over no, no. There? Jacinda Ardern said you, you, we will watch it on the Sunday. Right, so, so it must be airing on the Saturday. It must be no, it'll be Monday over there. They're behind. Other way around. It's yeah, Saturday. So Saturday over if, there. Yeah, if they do it on the Sunday, we deserve the right to stay home on the Monday. On the Monday, yeah. Oh, I agree. Well, well, but see, okay, so the Queen's holiday now will be scrapped. Does, it, does this replace it? You mean the Queen's birthday? The Queen's birthday. Does it get scrapped? What it, what oh, it does? Well, for me, it's kind of like dead but not forgotten. Well, well, not, it's for not me, actually, I would still honour it. Yeah, it's not her birthday anyway. It's a token day. Yeah, so you would just keep the token day. Yeah. But coronation day, to me personally, is just <laughs> as important. What does what does a coronation involve? Because we've never in our life, in our lifetime we've never witnessed one, have we? Never. This is so, like Haley's Comet, mate. It's really interesting. So it starts at the races and they end up at Dream Girls. So he'll be dressed as well, Austin no, 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 Powers and he'll have a ball and chain around his ankle. <laughs> that was a Bucks party that you went to. Um, I don't think that's how that they do it for. That would be a good day to watch, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> King Chucky. Um, okay, so, yep, yeah, takes place 6th of May. Here we go. So there are, it's a six-part ceremony. Um, there's the recognition there's the oath, bloody oath, can't wait for that one. Mm-hmm. The anointing, the investiture, the enthronement. My favourite. And the homage. I tell you the thing that I think what is good. That? It used to be, I think, a four or six hour process. He's at least cut it down to be one hour. Yes. Yeah. And, and yeah. Queen Elizabeth had 8,000 people crammed into the Westminster Abbey, which is what you want. I mean, that's mm. 100,000 at the MCG for the AFL Grand Final. Yeah, it's big. He's brought it down to 2,000. Yeah. God, how are you going to get all the corporates in? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they're selling corporate boxes. As long as the food's being done by Maryvale, that That's would be nice. Justin With Justin Hammers. He's all over it, mate, which is great. The hot dogs are very gourmet. It's $48. <laughs> yes, it is, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. And you will love it. Um, I think if we just locked in the Monday as Charlie Day, then that would be the best oh, way it's forward. It's got a different meaning. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, hey, it says here as well that the Camilla to be crowned. Mm. I didn't think she was going to be. Well, no, no she's, she's queen consort. And the, yeah. queen, right. the queen gave permission for that. But I did see that she may not wear the crown because so, of no, all the controversy around the diamonds. If you forget what that is, you just kind of add it together, but it's um, queen consort of. Oh, she's yeah, it's kind not of bad. queen, but consort of. Is that because she can't be crowned queen because she was she's not second choice? No, because when no. you're not when you're not, not born line. into the family, you're the consort. Like Kate Middleton won't be queen; <laughs> she'll be queen consort. So that is lovely. Yeah, but it, 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 is is Gary like? Do I see? Yeah, is Gary the same? But because he's your second husband, is he I, like oh, into the family? Is consort he, Gary is he the McGilvray consort? <laughs> so you think he's husband consort of? You two are idiots. Oh, my God. I can't wait for the next divorce. Gary, and it's got to be one of you. Gary sort of. Statistically say one of you Gary. will join me soon. Oh, my God. Gary, does Gary sort of. Does Gary know? Do we need a public holiday for Gary? <laughs> yes, we do. Gary Day. Laugh now. Your Gary. wife won't sleep with you. <laughs> Guys, get out and celebrate Gary's Gary birthday. Day. Yeah, public holiday going. weekend. Awesome. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.